revision of chapter 6 7 8 9 and test paper 1 from the gk book chapter 6 the world around us so the first part we we are going to know about the flag of the different nations and a flag is a symbol that represents its nation. Every country has a different flag. So let us read about the significance of flags of different countries. First, the capital of China is Beijing. The red in the flag represents the communist revolution that took place in China. The huge golden star Commu represents communism as adopted in China and the other four stars represent the social classes of people. So this is a description of the stars which is in the flag of China. Now moving to the next one. The capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka. The green color of the flag represents the lush greenery that the country has. And the red disc, which is at the center, symbolizes the rising sun as well as the people who died in the struggle for its independence. Next, coming to the capital of Egypt, that is Cairo, and the flag of Egypt has its national emblem, the eagle of Saladin at the center of the white band. Next is, Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal and this is the only flag in the whole world which is not in the rectangular shape and it has two triangles. So these represents, the two triangular portion of the flag represents the two main religions that are followed in Nepal. First is Buddhism and the second is Hinduism. Next. The capital of Bhutan is Thimpu. The dragon on the flag represents the country's purity. The jewels on the dragon's claw represents its wealth. And the orange color of the flag depicts Buddhism and the yellow represents the authority of the king. Now, here there are three flags which we can see. That is of Venezuela. Ecuador and Colombia and all these three flags they have the same color pattern all the three flags they show the strips of yellow and then blue and then red though their inside symbols are different but their three colors are same now moving to the next country the capital of United States of America is Washington, D.C. And the 50 stars in the flag represents the 50 states of the country. And there are 13 strips on the flag which represents the 13 original colonies that gained independence from the Great Britain. And next coming is New Delhi is the capital of India and the Indian flag has three colors. So the Indian flag has a saffron band on the top which signifies the strength and courage of its people. The white band in the middle indicates peace and truth that its people value. And this band has a Shok Chakra with 24 spoke wheels and it is in navy blue color. And it is placed at the center of the flag. The green band below represents the fertility and growth of the country. Now moving to the next one, the capital of Brazil is Brasilia. This flag has a white banner inside a blue celestial globe. Now the flag contains 27 white stars that represent 26 states of the country and the federal district. Next, the flag of Sri Lanka is one of the world's oldest flags. 
and it is also known as lion flag. Sri Lanka is an island country. That means it is surrounded with water from all the sides. Earlier, it was known as Ceylon. The capital of Sri Lanka is Colombo. Next is the capital of Australia is Canberra. Its flag has a blue background bearing six stars out of which five stars show the constellation of the Southern Cross and the six is a Commonwealth star. Next is the capital of Japan is Tokyo and the flag of Japan is a white rectangle with a red disc in the center representing the circle of the sun. So these were the flags of the different nations. Train your brain. Now there are numerous countries whose flag consists of only two colors. So can you name the three countries that begin with the letter T and have flags with a combination of red and white color? So now let's see the name of the countries which starts with T and which has a combination of red and white color. So first one is Turkey. As you can see that red color is the background and the moon and star is of the white color. Next, Tonga, it is having a red background and even there is a plus symbol with red color and the background of the plus symbol is white. Next is Tunisia, here also the background is of red color and the moon and the star is red color but the background of moon and star is white. So here there are the country's name that starts with letter T and they have a combination of only red and white color. Now moving to part A, that is we have to read the clues to identify the countries, fill in the blanks with the correct answer and circle their names in the word grid. First we are going to fill in the blanks and then we will fill the word grid. Now moving to this, First one is, it has some of the beautiful castles in the world and the world's biggest folk festival, Oktoberfest, is celebrated in this country and the name of the country is Germany. Second, it is the third largest country in Europe after Russia and Ukraine. So the capital of this country is Paris is a fashionable capital of the world and is renowned for the Eiffel Tower and Louvre Museum. And the country is France. Now, moving to the third, it is the second largest country in the world. It borders the Atlantic, Pacific and Arctic Oceans. It produces about 71% of the world's maple syrup and it is Canada. Canada is the second largest country in the world. Now moving to the fourth one. It is an Arabian country popular for its oil reserves. It has the tallest man-made structure in the world and that is Burj Khalifa and the name of the country is United Arab Emirates. Fifth, it is a Scandinavian country best known for the northern lights. Its beauty stretches from Zords to its beautiful mountains. It is also known for its midnight sun. And the name of this country is Norway. And it is a Scandinavian country. Now, sixth is, it is the fourth largest island in the world. It is one of the main suppliers of vanilla and cloves. This island country lies in the Indian Ocean of the southeast coast of Africa and lemurs are found only in this country. So the name of the country is Madagascar. Now moving to the next. This country is famous for the world's tallest twin buildings. The Petronas Tower in Kuala Lumpur and the country is the home to Reflesia Arnoldi. 
the world's largest flower. We have already read about this flower in our previous chapter. So the name of the country is Malaysia. Malaysia is having the world's tallest twin building that is Petronas Tower. Now the eighth is it is the smallest country in the world. It is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church and it is famous for St. Peter's Basilia and Sistine Chapel. So then this smallest country is Vatican City. So here we finishes the part A and now moving to did you we are going to first fill the word grid. Now as we have done the fill in the blanks now filling the word grid. So first is Canada, second Madagascar, third Norway, fourth United Arab Emirates, next Germany, then comes France and then comes Malaysia and the last one is Vatican City. So this is the way we have filled the word grid. Now moving to did you know that is San Marino, a small independent nation within Italy was founded in 301 C. It is considered the world's oldest republic. Yes. Now, why one reason that San Marino has mostly stayed independent over the centuries is because of its hilly location. Now, due to the hilly location, it was it has stayed independent. And it is a landlocked San Marino. It is one of the world's smallest country. The tiny country that is completely landlocked by Italy was founded on September 3rd in the year 301 BC. In San Marino's constitution, it was written in 1600 and is the world's oldest constitution. So we have got a knowledge about a uh, world's oldest republic is it? It was made in 1600 constitution. And it's really nice that this particular country remained independent over the centuries. And the reason is about its hilly location. Part B, identify these countries or cities from their sobriquets and write their names in the space provided. The meaning of sobriquet is nickname. So many countries are given nicknames by, for their specialities. First is Eternal City and the name of the country is Rome. Second, Land of Lilies and it's for Canada. Land of Rising Sun, it is for Japan. India's Teardrop and the name of the country is Sri Lanka. Next is Uncle Sam, it is for USA. Next is Rainbow Nation, it is for South Africa. Land of Morning Calm, it is for South Africa. Land of Fire and Ice, Iceland. And Land of Poet is given to Child. Next is Land of Golden Fleece, and it is for Australia. Land of Thunder Dragon, this name is given to Bhutan. And Gift of Nile is Egypt. Now moving to train your brain. The currency of the European Union is the Euro and Euro 1 is equal to 76 rupees. If Zara spent 25 euro in Brussels, 48 euro in Rome and 115 euro in Paris. So calculate how much money Zara spent in Indian rupees. So 1, ru one euro is equal to 76 rupees. So Zara spent 25 plus 48 plus 115 euro which is equal to 188 euro. Zara spent in Indian rupees that is 188 multiplied by the 76 which is equal to rupees 14,288. So the answer is Zara spent rupees 14,288. Chapter 7 Exploring Europe Now let's move 
to see about Europe. Now here, first one is Europe is the world's second smallest continent and has the third largest population in the world after Asia and Africa. Second point about Europe, it is the name after mythological Greek princess Europa. Third point, Europe occupies one fifteenth of the world's total land area. Next point, it is bordered on the north by the Arctic Ocean and on the west by the Atlantic Ocean. Next, it is home to both the world's smallest country, Vatican City, and the largest country, that is Russia. Next, some of the languages spoken in Europe include English, Spanish, Dutch, Italian, German, Danish, Portuguese and French. So these were the exploring about the Europe. Now let's move to the famous historical monuments. Read the clues to identify these monuments and write the correct answer in the boxes. First, it is located in Pisa, Italy and this monument is known for its tilt. That means it is in a slanting way. It look, took about 200 years to build this monument and it is C and the name of the monument is Leaning Tower of Pisa. Second, located on the Champ de Mars in Paris, that is France, this was the tallest man-made structure till 1929 and here it's F, Eiffel Tower. Third, located in Istanbul, this structure was built as a cathedral, then made into mosque and then into a museum. Option is A, it is Hagia Sophia. Fourth, located in the center of the city of Rome, it holds the record for being the world's largest amphitheater. So, it is E and it is Colosseum. Fifth, located on River Thames, this castle served as a royal residence, a prison, a treasury and even a zoo. And the option is B. Tower of London. Sixth, located on the Acropolis of Athens, this temple was built in honor of the Greek goddess Athena. So the option is D. Parthenon. So these were the exercise A options. Now let's think which two countries lie in both Asia and Europe. It is Russia and Turkey. Did you know there is a town located on the island of Anglesey in Wales and that has the longest name in the world. The town name is too long. As you can see it is written in such a long so it is being locally referred to in the village as Lanfair. It's almost 58 letters long the name of the town. Now moving to part B. Fill in the blanks to answer questions on the natural wonders of Europe. Pick your answer from the help box. First, it is located in Russia. The Daesh mountain range separates Europe and Asia. Ural. Second, the dash borders Europe to the north and the Atlantic Ocean borders it to the west. Arctic Ocean. Third, with 660 islands, the largest freshwater lake in Europe is Lake Lagoda. Fourth, dash is the largest island in the world. It is Greenland. Fifth, Dash is the capital of the largest country in Europe, Russia, and that is Moscow. 
Now moving to part C. Read the clues to identify some famous personalities from Europe. First, she became the first female chancellor of Germany in 2005. And the name is Angela Merkel. Second, he created music even after he became deaf. His nine symphonies are considered as the foundation of Western classical music. And the name is Ludwig van Beethoven. Third, she holds the record for winning the most Grammys by a female artist in one night. She took home six Grammys in 2012. And her name is Adele. Fourth, Considered as England's national poet. This English playwright and poet is known for famous plays such as Romeo and Juliet. And his name is William Shakespeare. Chapter 8 Interesting Inventions In 20th and 21st century, modern inventions have impacted our lives so deeply that one cannot think of a world without them. So let's look at some of the inventions. First one is microwave oven and it was invented by Percy Spencer in 1946. Next is credit card and it was invented by Ralph Skendier with Frank McNamara in 1950. Then next comes fiber tip pen and it was invented in 1962 by Yukio Hori. And next in 1960, heart pacemaker was invented by Wilson Great Patch. Then next computer mouse which was invented by Douglas Engelbart in 1968. Then next comes 3D printer by Chuck Hull in 1984. Now moving to some more inventions. In 1991, World Wide Web came into the world by Sir Tim Berners-Lee. And next it was about Bluetooth and this was Invented by Dr. Jap Hartsen in 1998. Then next comes Facebook. In 2004, it was discovered by Mark Zuckerberg, Idior, Do Severin, Dustin Moskowitz and Chris Hughes. Next, in 2001, Wikipedia came by Larry Sanger and Jimmy Wales. And next it's YouTube and it was discovered by Steve Chen, Chad Hurley and Javed Kareem in 2005. And the next it's the latest and it is Sophia the Robot which was discovered or invented by David Hansen. So these are the some of the interesting inventions which has changed the world. Chapter 8 Interesting Inventions So here we are going to see some of the interesting inventions which are being invented. So part A state whether the given sentence are true or false. First is the parachute was invented 500 years ago. It is true. So first parachute had been sketched by Leonardo da Vinci in the 15th century. Second, the elevator made the skyscraper possible. Skyscraper means the high buildings which just look that they are touching the sky. And it is also true. Elevator means lift. Third, Wilson Great Patch 
placed a wrong transistor for monitoring heart sounds and invented the pacemaker. It is also true. So the first great batch pacemaker was implanted in a human patient in 1960. Fourth, Christopher Cockerell invented a car that travels over both land and water. It is also true. So the name of the vehicle is Hovercraft and it was invented in 1955. Fifth, Steve Jobs invented Facebook in 2004. It is false. Facebook was invented by Mark Zuckerberg in 2004. Sixth, Constantin Falberg invented sugar from coal tar. It is true. Now the product which was sweet in taste which was developed from coal tar was a saccharin and it was produced in 1879. Seventh, while inventing a cure for malaria, William Perkins accidentally invented synthetic dye. It is true. So, in 1856, William Perkins made synthetic dye and it was derived from coal tar. 8. Thomas Edison had the habit of reading Braille as he was visually impaired. That is false. Thomas Edison at the age of 12 began losing his hearing power. Ninth. Popcorn was invented by the Egyptians. It is true. So the oldest evidence of popped corn comes from the Bat Cave of western central New Mexico. Tenth, the early internet was invented and developed by the United Nations. It is true. So the internet which got its start in the United States, it was more than 50 years ago. So on the right hand side, there is a riddle that which invention lets you look right through a wall? And the answer is a window. So window is the thing which lets you look right through the wall. Now, did you know that the film the Imitation Games is based on the biography of a computer scientist and a mathematician named Alan Turing. Now, he is considered the father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. Now, let's think which invention has helped humans the most and also think of one invention that has harmed the earth the most. So, so first of all, we'll see the invention which helped humans the most and it is none other than electric bulb, which was invented by Thomas Elva Edison. And it is the most important in invention since the man made the fire. So the light bulb, it helped to establish social order after sundown. That means when the sun sets, even then also we can do the work and we can also work at the night and we can also navigate or travel safely in the dark. Now, Without the bulb, we cannot imagine the night light. And the invention which harmed the earth the most is the plastic. Plastic, it was invented in 1907 by Belgian-born American Leo Hendrik Bekeland, who was living in the New York State at that time. But it was an unfortunate invention 
because it was estimated that around 19 billion pounds of plastic waste which end up in our oceans every year. Plastic bags, polythens, bottles and many other things which are made up of plastic they at last go through the ocean and which makes the ocean polluted and which is really deadly for the wildlife and it has affected many of the animals who live inside the ocean and it has created a lot of plastic pollution. Chapter 9 Science Struck So the part A we have to choose the correct answer from the opinions given to check our knowledge of science. So the first one is yogurt is produced by bacterial fermenting of milk. Yogurt is the curd and it is formed by producing bacterial fermenting of milk. And then next hot molten rock that erupts from a volcano. It is lava. And next, third is arachnophobia is the fear of spiders. Those who are scared of spiders, they have arachnophobia. Next, fourth, the biggest planet in our solar system is the Jupiter. Fifth, the world's largest cat in is the Siberian tiger. Sixth, Bagheera from the Jungle Book is a black panther. Seventh, the innermost layer of earth is the core. Core is the innermost layer of the earth. Eighth, snakes are classified as reptiles. Ninth, Olympus Mons is a large volcanic mountain on planet Mars. Moving to next. Tenth, number of bones in a shark's body is zero. It is really weird to listen this but the entire body of the shark is made of cartilage. It is just like the cartilage which is found in our ear lobes of the human body. Next, their ears are located on their front legs and it is cricket. Twelfth, fever that is co not caused by mosquito bites. Fever that is not caused by mosquito bites and it is viral fever. Thirteen, leafy vegetables are a rich source of vitamin and it is rich source of vitamin A. 14th, number of bones in the human skeleton is 206. Approximate percentage of water in the human body is 60%. 16th, digestion in the human body begins in the mouth itself. Now when the food reaches to our food is in the mouth so we chew it and the saliva softens it and the processing of digestion starts there itself and then it is easy to swallow and it reaches to the stomach. 17th this blood group can receive blood from anyone 
it is blood group O. 18th, the study of weather is known as meteorology. Now, do you know that blood groups are designated by letters? Now, like O positive is the most common blood group, while AB negative is the rarest. That means most of the people has blood group O positive and very few people having AB negative. Now the homework, you have to complete the exercise of chapter 8 and you have to do part A of the chapter 9 in GK book. Chapter 9, Science Struck. Part B, we have already done part A in our previous class. So today we are going to do with the part B. There are many diseases that affect different body parts. So we have to match the diseases to the part, body part it affects. First is arthritis and it is a disease on joints. Second, bronchitis. It is a disease in lungs. Third, cataract. It is affects eyes. Fourth, Alzheimer. It is a disease which is caused on the brain. Fifth, diabetes and it affects pancreas. Sixth, eczema. It affects the skin. Seventh, goiter. It is because it happens on thyroid gland. Eighth, jaundice. It affects the liver. Nine, pyria. And it affects the gums and the teeth. Tenth, polio. It affects the leg. Now, moving to let's think. Prevention is better than cure. We have heard this several times. And how can we apply this in our life? So the best example is the stage in which we all are facing it. That is COVID-19. So prevention is better than cure. We all must follow the se some steps so that we remain prevented from this disease, coronavirus disease. And we have to, we should follow some steps of the prevention and that is we should wear a mask. We should save lives by wearing a face cover. We should wash our hands and we should keep a safe distance from the person who are infected or in a crowded place. So in this way, we can prevent the spread of COVID-19. So it is the best example for nowadays that prevention is better than cure. Now, did you know that Still Alice is a 2014 film based on the novel by the same name written by Lisa Genova? The story is about a woman suffering with Alzheimer's disease. The le lead actress Jelini Moore won the Academy Award, BAFTA, the Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild Award and six more awards for her outstanding performance and portrayal of an Alzheimer's patient. Now moving to part C. Read the clues and identify these famous Indian scientists. First, she was a notable chemist best known for developing anti-epileptic and anti-malarial medicines. She was also the first woman to receive a doctorate of science in India. And 
the name of this personality is Asima Chatterjee. In second, he was a well-known rocket scientist who is best known for his research in physics and engineering. He also succeeded Vikram Sarabhai as the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, in 1972. And his name is Satish Thawan. Third, he was a notable Indian mathematician who made extraordinary contributions to the mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series and continued fractions. And the name is Srinivas Ramanujam. Fourth, an ornithologist and a naturalist he was known as the bird man of India. His books on birds helped develop ornithology in the subcontinent. And his name is Salim Mozuddin Abdul Ali. And next is he was an Indian physicist who is better known for his role in developing and directing India's nuclear program and there is a center of study named after him in Chennai and his name is Raja Ramana. So next we would be moving to did you know in 2014 a Tamil film Ramanujan and in 2015 a British film The Man who knew infinity were released based on the life of the renowned Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. Now let's start with the test paper 1 and it is in page number 69. And here in the part A state whether the following statements are true or false. So the first one is France was the first country to host the modern Olympics. It is false. So Greece was the first country to host the modern Olympics. Second, dragon fruit is bright pink and scaly on the outside. It is true. Third, strawberry contains more sugar than lemon. It is false. Strawberry contains less sugar than lemon. Fourth, YouTube was invented by Steve Jobs. It is false. YouTube was invented. Part B, name and identify the following. So first one is the flag and this flag is belongs to the country China. Second, this is the picture of Eiffel Tower. Third, this is the picture of Srimati Indira Gandhi. And fourth, this picture is of Srinivas Ramanujam. Now, moving to part C. Name the following and find the answer in the word grid. First, city of lakes and it is Udaipur, which is in Rajasthan. Second, a flower that helps in relieving stress and the name of this flower is chamomile. Third, slowest land animal and it is snail. Fourth, state animal of Rajasthan, it is camel. Fifth, land of fire and ice, Iceland. Now moving to part D, fill in the missing letters to, the an to answer the following. Highest mountain in the solar system, it is Olympus Mons. Second, highest rank in the Indian Navy is Admiral. Third, this novelist is known as the Queen of Crime. And the name is Agatha Christie. Fourth, the currency of United Arab Emirates. It is Dirham. Fifth, 